Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, it's Wednesday, I am playing some more Unturned. I'm over here at the Liberator. I've got quests to turn in. Let's have a look. Oh god, my skills though, where I died so many times trying to do that Horde Beacon. That's definitely something I'm going to have to sort out. Let's have a look. So I still haven't done this one to catch a squid. I've done that one. I haven't done that one. Oh, a flamethrower boss. Youch. But I've got all these ones to turn in. I've still got this one. From the uh, holiday event. And I don't know if I can still do it or not. Hang on a minute, I forget. Cook gingerbread cookies, taste gingerbread cookies. Uh, combine flour, eggs and chocolate. I did, oh my good god, I did bring those things with me. Maybe I can still do it, because I've got the quest to do it, but I'm going to have to find out as we go. Let's go up to the bridge and turn some of these uh, storyline quests in. Have a look. Anything to report? I scouted out the airport. There we go. I will get experience for these, I've just realised as well. Oswald is willing to give you give you a try scouting out a location, in this case the airport north east north north east of Moscow. Yeah, analyzing the environment, prepare a report. Okay. No sign of jet fuel. This report is pretty detailed. Nice work. Let's go talk to the others. Good to see you. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's have a look. I plastered up those posters. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Completely forgot. We'll keep an eye out for survivors. All right. Awesome. Does he have anything else to say? Could you do me a favor and deliver this important note? Right on it. Needs an important note delivered to Rusty. He'd appreciate it if you didn't say who it's from. All right, fine. I can do that as well now. Did these guys have anything else to say to me? I've got another location for you to scout out. It'll be a bit trickier. Interested? Yes, please. The Tank Factory Horde Beacon. Oh, God, it's going to take me forever to set up a safe zone for that. Watch out for any sal salvageable tank machinery. Awesome cake. What about you? Anything to report? Uh, nothing to report. All right, fine. Watching the ship's vitals and making sure nothing explodes. Good work. Yep, nothing exploded yet. I'm tracking the long-range radar for planes, helicopters, boats. Keep up the good work. Right, what have I turned in here? Nautical nuisance? Let's start at the top and work my way down. The side project, Dr. Swanson. Let's go ahead and uh, go down to where that person is. I believe they're like on the engineering decks. Well, here's Rusty. I found Rusty, so let's give him that note. I scraped off those barnacles. Forgot that was a quest even, but that's awesome. No, now go dry off, no problem. Got this note for you. Let's see here. Oh, there's another note inside. It's addressed to Chef Leonard. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's see if I can do any of these other ones. I've got this note for you. Let me take a look. It's another note addressed to Andy. <laughs> uh, right, am I on like a scavenger hunt? There's Dr. Swanson. Let's see what she's got. Found the capsules. Right, okay. Fascinating. The amount of information here is overwhelming. I'll certainly be busy. She got anything else? Anything in those capsules? 
I've barely scratched the surface so far. But there is this Scorpion 7 key card here. You can keep it as a souvenir. Um. Yay, I guess? Let's have a look. Is, is that something that just pops into my inventory? Or is that, like, just a thing that she says? Anyway. What else have we... Oh, yeah, I'm still going down to the engineering decks, aren't I? Uh, did the doctors have anything for me? Can I buy a replacement blueprint? Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Need any help? All's well. Train and become a scientist. No problem. What about you? Don't suppose you'd be available to help test a new attachment prototype I've been working on. That sounds awesome. Here, take this blueprint. It explains everything but the... Be careful with it because it's very complex and replacements are expensive. Go jab some zombies. Ooh, is that like a bayonet? Bayonet blueprint. Awesome. What do I need for that? Creating tactical bayonet attachable to guns. I killed that boss zombie. Yes, yes I did. Impressive, it'd be quite the source of gossip among the troops. What else have you got for me? Uh, apparently nothing. So I've got this note. Oh, there's another note in there. Why is there a note inside a note inside a note inside a note? It's uh, kind of strange. Okay, so now I've got to go all the way back up to the bridge, which is where I was before. This is a uh, kind of bizarre. Is it, was it? Was it you? Oh no! Who? Who was it again? Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, there we go. I've got a note for you. Let's see what it says. So sweet. Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> Wonder who it's from. This is this is a weird quest line. What else have we got to turn in here? So it's really just this one and this one. That's the uh, one for the squid. Oh no, that's the factory horde beacon. I am not looking forward to that. Where's the tank factory? Is that it up there? I think that's it up there, isn't it? Right, I've come over to this place that I think is the tank factory, all the way over here. I've got, uh, this to do. And I thought I'd scout out a nice area to use as a horde base. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, it's a bloody, bloody, bloody full moon. <laughs> I've got zombies to murder. I did spend some of my experience points on, you know, getting some skills, but I'm definitely going to have to do more than that. Oh, God, that scared the bloody hell out of me. Holy hell on toast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 I don't want to get overwhelmed here. This would not be a good place to die. What do I need to craft a bedroll? There it is, bedroll. So I need cloth. It is literally just a bunch of cloth. So that's not going to be difficult to do. It's uh, good, to <laughs> good to have somewhere to respawn that way when I screw things up I can get straight back to here oh 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 that sounded like a bad thing it sounded like two bad things but it might just be this zombie making noises twice so uh, there we go I think I can craft a cot 
What's the difference? They're both beds, are they not? Not sure where I'm going to put that. I might put it up there. Oh, God. Yeah, look how far away they... They aggro. That's not... That's not awesome for me. Oh, that one died, like, immediately. That catches me off guard almost as much as the growlings. Is there anyone in here? Oh, God, it did it again. I bloody jumped out of my damn skin. Holy hell, there's another one up here. There we go. Bye-bye. I could convert this place into a horde base. Not convinced I like the idea. I could funnel them up here. If I, like, block that window up and put a bunch of barbed wire, like, down here. I don't think you can put it inside buildings, though, is the thing. I can hear a zombie. Oh, look at that. Poor thing. Can't even walk. Again, this room might not be bad for it. Again, block up the windows and the door. It doesn't give me a lot of places to back up into. And I'm not sure if you can put barbed wire in here. Not barbed wire fences. Just... Oh no, I put barbed wire in the other place, didn't I? Maybe this could... Work. There's lots of food here, anyway. <laughs> that guy nearly bitted me. Get some chips. I do need some food, actually. Go ahead and just have a quick munchy, munchy, munch. Yum. What is this? Is this something? No, it's just a bit, bit of random... Random texture. Yeah, there's another bit there. I think this... Oh, God! That's three! Three bloody jump scares. I think this factory section will be too... Like, too open. Ooh! Hello! That'll save me a little bit of farming. That is a military base. Right there, so I can go over there and farm some of the things that I need. Kind of shot the road from that distance. I should be kind of expecting it at this point. Yeah, I guess it's, you know, shining the light directly at them really isn't... Oh, God. Really isn't a good idea, I was trying to say. I can I, I saw just briefly an acid spitting zombie over there. I've got my uh weapon here for that drum that I found from the last horde beacon. I'm a little bit short on the ammunition, but it shouldn't be too bad. Like I say, I can go farm some ammunition. Yeah, this would not be a good place. Oh, oh, hello! <laughs> that one didn't actually make me jump, but he just <laughs> came at me before I was expecting it. There's really not a lot of good places here, is there? I really should be picking up some of this ammunition as well, shouldn't I? I don't know what I need and what I don't need, because of course I don't. It's me. I've definitely got one of these guns. So I can get rid of it and keep the, the magazine. Yeah, there's not a lot of good places here, is there? Maybe this area? I could maybe put some fences along here. I think I'm better off... Like, reinforcing that building. Because I don't want them coming at me from multiple directions. My first few attempts did not go well when I tried that. Uh, yeah, that's just random junk. Black smoke. 
Hmm. Yeah, I've been all the way round here. I don't really see anywhere that's as good as there. I could armor this place up, block the windows up and put a bunch of barbed wire around. It would be funnier because I could see the zombies coming at me, but again, if they break through, and they probably will, it definitely cause my death, which is something I would prefer not to have happen. In case you didn't realize dying is bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think if I maybe just reinforce this part and block up the windows as best I can, it might be a good idea because they won't be able to spit at me. If there's a fire zombie, it would be bad, but it wouldn't be, you know, disastrous. And when the big zombie comes along, I'll still have plenty of room to do the shooty shooties. Like so. And if things go really bad, maybe I could bail out this window. If I make like a an openable thing, like a window or a whatever else. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that between episodes, obviously. And we'll... Do that Horde Beacon next week. Bit of a weird episode, mostly turning quests in and wandering around on the Liberator trying to find random people. But, you know, the way it goes sometimes, especially when you do a bunch of quests. So, yeah, a thing. Anyway, like and subscribe if you didn't do that already. Put your comments down in the comments section, something I always appreciate. Thank you to the people that take some time to do that. I'll be back tomorrow for some Graveyard Keeper. Need to do a little bit more work on that between now and then. Mostly farming dark organs from, from corpses. That's kind of odd, but I'll do that. And I'll see you then.